Before I, I left, uh, I had seen uh, probably a news reel or something about uh, showing the, the aircraft spraying the defoliant. Um, didn't think it was going to affect me. I didn't have boots on the ground in Vietnam, so at that time I had no idea that uh, you know this stuff would probably get into the rivers and flow out to the sea, and we would use it for our you know fresh water on board the ship. You've got all these contaminated rivers, and the ships are going up and down, sucking this stuff in there, distilling it. That distillation process on board the ships actually enhances the Agent Orange by as much as a factor of 10. So if you're a Marine and you're flying the jungles of Vietnam and the plane actually comes over and dumps the stuff on you, and you kind of go, oh, what the heck is this stuff? Well, the sailors on board the ships were drinking what that guy got directly sprayed on him. The VA did not come up with anything new scientifically to exclude those people. They just did it via regulation. The Institute of Medicine has said that the exclusion of the Blue Water Navy sailors from compensation is strictly a matter of policy, not based on any science. There are thousands of Blue Water Navy veterans who have not received any benefits or compensation that they had received for 11 years. For 11 years. And now all of a sudden, for the last 13 years, they've been cut out. Let's face it, even Elvis sang, like a river flows surely to the sea.